been a while. Um, we're going to do Sex by the 1975. Um, we'll start off just playing chords as if you're like at a campfire and uh, had an acoustic guitar. And then I'll get into what they actually do on the recording. Um, now I've seen some versions of him playing it with a capo up here. Um, so on the seventh fret, the capo, so he'd be playing a G, which is actually a D. So, and then it goes to a G. So with the capo on the seventh, that would be like a C shape. So a G shape into a C. But I'll just do open chords. D for four bars, and then G for four bars. L, then back to the D. that four bars yeah then I think the second verse it, it goes first verse and then chorus so the second part of the verse is a D he holds that for two bars and then there's an A for a bar then a B minor so open D is just open D second on the G third on the B second on the E X X leave those two out G's three on the E, two there, open, open, three and three on the B and the E. A, open A, X, leave that out, then two, two, two on the D, G and B, open E, B minor, bar chord, so a bar on the second fret, and then four on the D, four on the G, three on the B, and back to the E, so hopefully you can follow. So. So listen to the song, you'll hear the changes. I could roughly tell you where, what the lyrics are. Hang on, if I get the lyrics, I might be able to give you a uh, sense of... So, and this is how it starts. Take your shoes off in the back of my G. My shirt looks so good, when it's hanging off your G. Work it out. So it's just D to G apart from that A and the B minor. Um, then the chorus G, let's play these as bar chords. So it's an E shape with a bar on the third fret. Three, five, five, four, bar on the three. Two, two bars of that, then move it up to the fifth, keep the same shape all the way there. Five, seven, seven, six, five, five. Two bars of that. Then up to the seventh fret, but it's a minor, so we lift this finger up. So you got five, seven, seven. I mean seven, nine, nine, and then sevens. Two bars of that, and back to the eight. Okay, now the fun bit. Um, well, the other guitar bits. There's a the guitar at the start. He's got a capo on, so he's, he might be using the capo there that's open, and then the uh, 12 on the D and the 10 on the B or he could just be you could just play it 7 if you insert the capo 7 on the G and 10 on the B and that keeps going all the way through while the other guitar on top is doing the chord changes but he's doing the chord changes way up high so instead of that D he's doing a D right up on the 10th fret E, F, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. But only really playing the, um, the, the top three strings. 11, 10, 10. While the other two. Then he's changing to a G in the A shape. So A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, G. So you could play D there and G there. But again, they're just playing the top three notes. So Three, 
and that still goes under those chords. Even when it goes, where it goes to A there, he plays an A using a D shape up there on the ninth fret. Nine, ten, nine. Yeah. A, A. And then there's this nice little guitar bit that's 12 on the B. 15 on the B. 14 on the B. Then 14 on the high E. Back to the 14. Yep. So on and so forth. I think that pretty much covers it. There's like a bridge bit where I... There's just some weird noises. Um, but if we go back to the clean, if you're playing chords, um, you could do a G that's like a G major seventh to give it a slightly different sound. So that would be third on the E, fifth on the A, third on the D, I mean fourth on the D and maybe four on the G. Just have a breakdown section and then go to a normal G, I guess. And there's another guitar that's doing a so 19E, 19B, still in the B string, 17, 15, then 17 on the high E. So there's lots of those bits. Hopefully, that's covered it all. That's a fun song. It'd be fun to do in, in a band. So you just have the one guitar doing that. Okay, I hope that covers it. If it doesn't, um, leave a comment and tell me that I uh, left something out. Hope you're well. See ya.